The ecologically rich and biodiverse Sundarbhan offers many ecosystem services that support the livelihoods of its 4.5 million residents. Fisheries and aquaculture are major biodiversity-based livelihoods here, and the health of the mangrove ecosystem is directly linked to the survival of these communities. But the world has witnessed a loss of more than 20% of its mangrove forest cover. The Indian Sundarban too has felt its effects. The conversion of mangroves into chemical intensive commercial shrimp farms is one of the primary reasons for the loss of mangrove forests and the biodiversity around them. As land salinity increased over time due to climate change induced natural disasters and rising sea levels, agricultural yield and freshwater fisheries have drastically reduced. Given the high export value of shrimp production, more and more farmers started shifting towards unsustainable aquaculture practices. Shrimp lava collected from the wild are used to stock these aquaculture farms affecting the fish and shrimp diversity of this fragile estuarine ecosystem. Input-intensive high-stocking monoculture of black tiger shrimp farming led to disease outbreaks in the past, making the practice unsustainable. As an alternative, the exotic species Pinaeus fenamai, American white-legged shrimp, was introduced. And mass scale culture is being practiced, which has a negative impact on the indigenous shrimp diversity of the mangrove ecosystem. Amidst all this, sustainable aquaculture in mangrove ecosystems, or SIME, emerges as a viable climate adaptive ecosystem based aquaculture practice. SIME provides nature based solutions for healthy mangroves, thriving coastal communities, and a robust community inclusive value chain. The project multi-stakeholder partnership to strengthen transformative processes in shrimp trade as a basis for the protection of mangrove ecosystems in South Asia was implemented in Transboundary Sundarban, a partnership between Global Nature Fund, Natural Land, Bangladesh Environment and Development Society and Nature Environment and Wildlife Society. This is funded by the Federal Government of Germany, and Mercedes-Benz. The black tiger shrimp, which was cultured with a high stock density, got into a lot of WSSD diseases and other issues. And it was totally replaced by the exotic species Vanamai, which is a very unsustainable, high stock intensity monoculture practice. Sustainable aquaculture in mangrove ecosystem brings back the candidate indigenous species black tiger shrimp in a polyculture, brackish water aquaculture mode, which is not only economically viable, but also ecologically sustainable. The juveniles come from hatcheries, foregoing the need for wild lava collection. This supports the conservation of ictofaunal resources as the dependence on natural wild stock is highly reduced. It also helps preserve biodiversity as there is no bycatch wasted, which happens during wild shrimp seed collection. In the past four years, there has been a gradual shift from monoculture to polyculture among Siamese farmers, giving better harvests and a healthier pond environment. <laughs> এই পদ্ধতিতে বাগদা চিংড়িকে অন্যতম একটা প্রজাতি হিসাবে অন্তর্ভুক্ত করে গলদা চিংড়ি পারশে ও ভাঙনকে যুক্ত করে মিশ্র মৎস্য চাষ করছে Pintu Das is one of the many who have adopted this more ecosystem based approach to poly species aquaculture the Siamese approach ensures that aquaculture farms have strong embankments, islands and ponds with ideal depth through land shaping.
Once the land is shaped, mustard oil cakes and lime are applied before beginning the new culture season. This naturally promotes the growth of plankton, which are great for the fishes and shrimps to feed on. The water quality is regularly monitored so that all parameters such as pH levels and salinity are in check. The other important factor that we are integrating is the mangroves. Mangrove leaf litter gives the necessary organic nutrients for the aquaculture value chain and these areas will continue to remain productive even if there is a northward migration due to sea level rise. Mangrove saplings are planted along the embankments and islands. The Saime Mangrove Nursery was set up to meet this new requirement of mangrove saplings for the aquaculture farms. A group of 52 women were responsible for collecting, planting and nurturing 18 species of mangrove saplings for these farms. This not only provided the women with a new livelihood, but also is a stepping stone towards positive climate action. News is from us, but I am a father of a group of people who are not going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. Currently, the project has 35 farmers in Choitol in North 24 Paragnas and 7 farmers in Madhapur in South 24 Paragnas. They form the two farmer groups and are collectively implementing Saimi in almost 30 hectares of farm area. <laughs> वही गाचे शिकुड़ गुलो माटी के भालो आंकड़े धोरे रखे थे। उत्तर बसे रहो आमदेर जेट एक खोर जोए थे तो ये पांदे जुन्न। शेही पांदे जुन्न आमदेर एक खोर स्टार एक और होते ना। ये बेड़ा दार पर ही आमदेर ये गाज गुलो रखा हुए जाते। एवं बुन्ना समा ये माज गुलो पाली जाते शेगुलार पाली जाते। Developing and strengthening the skills, instincts and abilities of the community is crucial for wide-scale Saimi adoption and success. If farmers are not capacitated with good aquaculture practices, mangrove restoration and growth monitoring techniques, one cannot experience the environmental benefits of this process. Farmers maintain dairy logs which are discussed with the news team in their weekly or sometimes bi-weekly meetings. Regular capacity building and training workshops have helped create a space where shared experiences and collective strategies help overcome any challenge. We have linked this Taiwi Farmer School to the Badamun Farmers Producers Company Limited, a PO, formed uh, by the Sundarbun Farmers under the patronization of news. This linkage helped the farmers to realize 10% higher profit as it removes the permission to the local educators. In these four years, the project has ensured that farmers generate sustainable production and business while maintaining the critical biodiversity of the region. Maintaining proper pond depth by land shaping and a polyculture practice with black tiger shrimps as a candidate species has helped ensure good harvest in a sustainable way. Introduction of pond health management through constant monitoring of the water quality parameters has reduced diseases and resulted in lesser shrimp mortality. Mangrove plantation has reduced soil erosion with stronger embankments. This also reduces land shaping costs. Mangrove leaf litter provides natural feed, boosts plankton growth and reduces the need for supplementary feed, medicines and chemicals that combat diseases. This is not possible without the multi-stakeholder partnerships where every stakeholder is very very important and that is why we form the working groups in the mangroves, in the value chain, in the livelihoods involving the academia, 
individuals, the government departments who are responsible in this chain and the civil society organizations so that this climate adaptive biodiversity friendly aquaculture practice can be upscaled and the policy gaps can be addressed. Science is a cornerstone of SIMI. Research is collaborative between news and other renowned institutes. The press conference on December 29th publicized the SIMI approach and the impact it has had on the farmers. <laughs> Articles on SIMI were published in reputed newspapers and magazines. Several IAS preparatory websites added SIMI to the curriculum. Despite witnessing significant success, SIMI upscaling in Shundarbon carries with it some policy challenges ranging from technical to legal. Need-based pruning of mangroves in SIMI farms is another issue which needs to be allowed revisiting in the context of the existing Forest Act. The title right of the land and the conversion of its nature for mangrove integration and aquaculture should be suitably enabled for implementing SIMI in a befitting legal framework. SIMI simulates the natural system prevalent in Shundarbon Estuarine ecosystem. Through the integration of mangroves, this nature-based solution allows communities to actually realize the full potential of the benefits of this ecosystem, including opportunities of ecotourism based on the aesthetics of the mangroves and the facility of fresh farm food on site. In the face of a changing Shundarbon landscape, challenged by climate change-induced sea level rise, Replicating and upscaling the SIMI model can help ensure thriving and resilient coastal communities equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills for this conservation-linked livelihood practice. এটি আমার বাড়ি এখানে আমার বাচ্চারা বড় হচ্ছে এবং আমি তাদের একটি স্থিতিশীল ভবিষ্যৎ উপহার দিতে চাই এমন একটি ভবিষ্যৎ যেখানে তারা অর্থনৈতিকভাবে ক্ষমতায়িত এবং যেখানে তাদের জীবন যাপন জলবায়ু পরিবর্তনের প্রভাব সহনশীল আমি আশা করি আমরা এই সকল ছোট যে পরিবর্তনগুলি করছি সুন্দরবনকে রক্ষা করতে সুদূরপ্রসীভাবে পথ দেখাবে